Yeah, yeah I'll take a few minutes to yeah. come up. Yeah, why not, hey? I did tell him last night that I was only going to be on YouTube, but I'll just Lied. I'll just be a liar. <laughs> I was just trying to get everyone on YouTube so that they can um, jump onto the next one, you know. <laughs> what are you grumping at, sir? Shit, boy. Okay, guys, are you there? We'll just give you guys a few minutes to get all on board. Um, I'm just checking that we're all working before nine o'clock. Candy's here. Hey, Candy, can you, can you hear me? <laughs> um, oh, okay. good. We've got some people, some people are joining in. Um, so I'm just going to chat for five minutes to take us through to nine. I was saying to Craig, this is probably the first time ever that we've been early for <laughs> for to come crap with me. Normally I'm like a few minutes late. <laughs> oh dear. All right, is that the combined chat? The chili mm -hmm. chat chat? Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to this impromptu. Well, it's not impromptu really, it was scheduled. <laughs> but it is, opposite. it's completely the opposite of impromptu. <laughs> but it is, um, Outside of our normal viewing schedule, <laughs> we have Vanessa. Hello, hello. And we have Amanda says, I'm sharing to heavy doodlers now. Thank you. That's awesome. Amanda's great like that. Uh, Mariska is here. Hello. And um, we also have Ashley. Hiya. Donna. Donna says, just got the notification. Yay. If you too want to get notifications whenever I go live, hit the hit the bell and subscribe to those notifications because sometimes, especially more these days when everybody's at home and desperate for some sort of entertainment, <laughs> um, probably going to be doing some more lives. That's the hope anyway. We've also got Tina here and Bea. Hello. Nice to see some new, new new names popping up. Mariska says she can hear me, which is wonderful. We've got Laura R and Steph. Erica, Erica just made another coffee. Amazing. I actually walked the dog and then came home and... We're rationing the milk. I didn't get tea. <laughs> we'll make tea for after. Okay. You can, okay, you can make me you tea for tea after. Him? I'd love tea now. Okay, Thanks. Tea. Yeah, I'll keep him. Keep him for another. How many years we married now? We can't get rid 12? of him until oh, like four or five months. True. Oh well, we'll see if we survive this isolation together. <laughs> okay, we've got three minutes. Um, where I'm just on the side here. I'm watching Erin read <laughs> to see um, if she's still crafting away here. <laughs> we've got some. I'm gonna try really hard to keep up with the comments. It might be a bit challenging. I was watching Erin's and it was like bup, 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 bup. it looked like a computer game. I had that music in my head. You know, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah really fast. We've got Kirsten. Hey, hello from Denmark. Hello back at ya. And um, Dina. Hello from Florida. Enjoying all this craft time. Woohoo. Nadine is here. Disorganized crafter. That's me. That's like most crafters. <laughs> nice. We've got Colleen as well. And Krobu. Love it. <laughs> Erica's calling you T-boy. Yeah, yeah. T-boy. Um, and we've got uh, Donna here as well. How's everyone holding up, says Donna. We're good, we're good. Erica says, I actually learned to drink coffee living in the UK. How did that happen? What? I drink coffee. <laughs> Erica, who works for Catherine Pooler, used to live really close to here. And I need her to come back right now. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, we've got Kari as well. Hey, Kari, sunshine in my pocket. I'll try and remember that. Um, so we're just nearly ticking up to, I was gonna say nine o'clock. I'm like conditioned to say nine o'clock, eight o'clock for me, which is one Pacific time for those of you who are on uh, that time zone. This is not playing anymore, so I don't know when that's, I'll leave that to you. 
Um, and this is part of a 24 hour live stream full of crafty goodness. So there is 12 hours today and 12 hours next Saturday, you know, so that we can all get some sleep and all that jazz. And um, I am lucky enough to have this slot in here. So Erin Reed was before me. If you actually go down into the comments, you'll get more information about this event. The event is called The World of Heart 2020, and it's organized by the wonderful Tiffany Solorio. Uh, oh, so, and what's that, Pennsylvania, it's 4 p.m., yeah. I had to make sure that I got my times correct because that old sneaky time zone difference sometimes catches people out, especially whenever the clocks start changing and things, but that's not done next weekend, thankfully. Okay, we're on it. Woohoo! Hello, everybody. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Yeah, he's laughing at me. Hi, everybody. I am Leslie Omen from... You probably can't read it back to front. Happy doodle. In the mirror, <laughs> oh, and the mirror's on this oh, one, okay. isn't it? You can try. Does it do yeah, it? No. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah. Turn <laughs> your big one. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Happy doodle didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We're still a bit giddy at eight o'clock, finally. <laughs> um, and uh, I also have this Come Craft With Me um, live stream every Friday night, but today for Saturday is part of this event. So just a couple of things to say to you guys before I get started is that this is an event there is live. So I'm live for an hour. After me, we've got Corin, whom I love, and Craig also loves too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and um, so after I'm finished, hop on over. There'll be a link down down here in the comments. Click the little arrow and follow that along. There'll also be a full list of everybody who was part of this hop. So even if you don't catch them live, you can always go back and watch the video on playback. Um, and don't forget to comment because this event is also being sponsored. I'm trying to catch up on some uh, comments here. People from Michigan, new subscriber, hey, awesome. And um, Kathy says, love being able to just pop over to the next class. No walking, no driving, no traffic. Amen. <laughs> I love that too. Um, and so back to sponsors. Loads of people are sponsoring this and I am actually sponsoring it twice because I'm going to be giving away a 35 pound gift voucher to the Happy Doodle store and that's going to be picked randomly after next week's event. So next Saturday there's another 12 hours and um, after that the everybody who has commented they will go into um, a pot I guess and then a winner will be picked. So you even if you don't get to watch it live and you're watching it on replay, please do also still comment because you'll still be with a chance to win. And the other thing is that today at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a surprise package. I'm gonna go into Craig's office, which is covered in Heffy Doodle products. <laughs> the storeroom. The storeroom. Yeah, it's more like the Heffy Doodle shop that you yeah. happen to have a small little desk in the corner. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to pick uh, some random items and send it on its way to you guys. So you want to stick around for that and be part of the fun. Does this mean we're in Old Hampshire? Uh, Denise says, hello from Jefferson, New Hampshire. And I'm in Hampshire. Yeah, we're maybe that original. original. I'm sure. I have to be careful, my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Donna says, you'll love Happy Doodle products, everyone. Ah, thank you so much. I'm going to go make tea. Yes, you are going to make me tea. Yes, please, make me small again with the magic of Craig. All right, so um, I've laid out a couple of cards here. This is not what we're making. If you guys saw Justine Hovey this morning at eight o'clock, it was at seven or eight o'clock in the morning. Wow, amazing. Um, she made six cards on her stream. Six cards. Seven. Craig says, am I gonna do seven? Will you come and help me then? No, no, he wasn't joking on that. <laughs> Um, so I'm not going to do that and in fact I haven't prepared anything because you know what that's just the way that I roll. For those of you who are familiar with my jam, 
especially on come craft with me i normally just wing it this uh, my friday hour is for me to play and it's no pressure i don't even normally use a lot of heavy doodle products because that's the job and i want to be able to play as well so i'm in here crafting and i ask do you want to come and craft with me hence the come craft with me up here my title and my things so i do a little thing a little fun game on my uh, Friday night stream, sometimes, not all the time, called Stamp Roulette. So those of you who have seen me before and watched Come Craft With Me might be familiar with this. And um, I thought it'd be really fun to do a little bit of Stamp Roulette tonight and we'll just wing it. I love it whenever you guys get involved as well, give suggestions, have ideas, um, throw curveballs. I think it's really fun. I'm gonna to try to keep up with the comments. Mariska says, I received my Heffy Doodle order a couple of days ago. I love my purchase, yay! And Dina says, um, it's nice to get our mind off other things. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy out there at the moment. Oh, and Erin's here. Hey, Erin. Yes, I popped on and I was watching you for a little while as well. Erin made some gorgeous floral um, and 3D cards. They're absolutely beautiful. Candy says it's been too long since Stamp Roulette. It really has. So let me explain the premise of Stamp Roulette. We're a little bit different than the norm because tonight what I'm going to do is just stick to Heffy Doodle products. So normally over here, if you can see Herb, here um, I have my fridge bins with my stamps in here and um, in a normal situation we have small stamp pockets and I have large stamp pockets and what I tend to get you guys to do is to give me a random number so let's say I have a hundred of each a number between uh, one and a hundred starting with an S, so S52, S49, that kind of thing, or a number starting with um, an L for this. So we're gonna be a little bit different tonight. We're not gonna do small and large because we're only doing heavy doodle. But I do have 62 stamp sets. So the ones at the front are smaller, so that kind of gives that away a little bit. And then the ones later on uh, are the larger ones. Um, so somebody says is the screen a little blurry. I'll just focus that a second. So um, shout out some suggestions. I will pick random ones. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, are you giving away a roll of toilet paper tonight? No, because we are running desperately, desperately um, low on toilet paper. <laughs> I think that would be the ultimate prize, to be honest. Dear me. All right, let's see what we've got going on over here. Craig's suggesting already 60. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to Craig. Though. Bring me my tea, boy. All right. So Becky says 45. So we're going to go for stamp 45 at the moment. And um, Inky Fairy Designs says 25. So we're going to do 45 and 25. And then we can keep on going. We can even do some stencils at all. Okay, let's do 45. So bear with me while I count these through. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, 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 nine, eight, nine, 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and unity on the back representing my stamp company friends okay so um we have got here round about a sentiment so this is good it's good to start with a sentiment set or at least have a sentiment set because then we can add um little critters and things to this so this is really fun so good choice 45 whoever said that <laughs> These are always fun, says Dana. You never know what Leslie will come up with. Yeah, sometimes they're a little bit random. So 20, was that 28? I can't even see what I said. I wrote, I think that's 20. 
Is that 20? It's 25. Ice cream. Is it 20? Uh, Cree! <laughs> Is it 25? <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're going to be like forced to stay here and moderate if you're going to be a punk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 24. Five. All right, we've got Hello Squeaker. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> Sweet but sneaky husband changing your number. You'll regret it. All right, so I think we need something else, guys, to, to put this all together. What are we going to have? Craig, would you like to pick one? Sabotage. <laughs> Saboteur. Um, what have we got? 10. 10, okay. Please don't be like a, a Christmas one or something. Okay, we've got big bug hugs. Okay, we can work with this because they're kind of smallish critters. I think we can make something work with this. So what did we say, 10? All right, so I really need to keep an eye on time. Because normally I craft for three solid hours, so I'm not in any rush. <laughs> Sarah Lou says, hello, I met you at the NEC Trade Fair in February. Hello. All right, so let's pop this over. Oh, we didn't grab a stencil yet. Do you want to um, keep an eye out, Craig, if anyone says a stencil number? And we'll take it from there. Okay, let me grab my... Stitched imperial stitch rectangles because I love using in my imperial size, even though I'm in the UK. I tend to use the American size. This is 44. 44, which is the last yeah, one. I like it. You like that? My 16 is more at least your number of stamps up to that. <laughs> Sixty-two! Yeah. Can you not get that when you look around your yeah, office? Yeah, I don't, I don't really take it all in. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's see what we can do here. So we definitely got to get a, um, a centimeter at the top. So I'm going to set this to the side for now. Although we could just use one of the little tiny images that also works too. So the rule that I have um, imposed upon myself is that I have to use at least one stamp from the set that I pick. So... <laughs> My senses are there, yeah, whatever the last one is. The last one is blank, and then the one before it, though. All right, let's see. Oops. We could have... What about... Ooh, hearts, okay. Interesting. Okay. Got any thoughts, Craigie? Um, just put them in a card. Put them in a card? Thanks, you're so helpful. <laughs> Mushrooms and mice. I like that. Oh, do I have mushrooms here? Yes, I do. Yes, mushrooms and mice. I was thinking of a snail finding a block of cheese, which I thought would be kind of funny. Hum nom nom. I don't have an ant. What are you laughing at, Craig? Some basically just need a, a bee butt to go with the sweet cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, so I actually think that I'm going to do a panel to go on the background. I'm going to use my stencil, so let me grab some card. And I'm going to do some ink blending, and I'll do that first of all, actually. So for my ink blending, I like Distress Inks more than Distress Oxides. <gasps> she did it, but she did. Um, and I like using watercolor cardstock for blending because it goes on like butter. And this is the Claire Fontaine paint on cardstock and it's cheap, cheap, cheap on Amazon. So it is my friend. That was my, that was my um, Georgia accent. Did you like it? I'm going to do multiple accents for you tonight. Yeah? I want more people to offend. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Nancy's here. Hey, Nancy. Maybe a ladybird. Is it ladybird or ladybug? What do you think, Craig? It's a ladybird. It's a ladybird for you? Yeah. It is? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> Just 
Ranger has had enough. Ranger's here. Okay, I'm gonna cut that, my panel out of this. Ranger, go and say hello to everybody. Hey, puppy. It's not having any of it. Ranger doesn't always like being a craft dog. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he don't. Uh, our Ranger. Artistically creative says, is that brand linked below? I think it is. I look, I've put this in wonky and it hasn't cut properly. Because it's overhung. I'm gonna put it through again. Got distracted by a ranger. Standard. Oh, I'm in the wrong corner. Using my good old heavy memo tape. I'm going to trip over him now. Yes, I believe Heffy Doodle is um, listed. Is it the paper? Hmm? Oh, the paper? No, it's not. I bought it on Amazon. Because I didn't prepare anything, not even I know what I'm going to use. All right, so I've got my card here. And this is my imperial stitched rectangles. And we're gonna go for, um, I think a little bit of pinks would be fun. Let's go for some sugar. Are you quarantined where you are? Are we quarantined? No. Not, no. not social. Distancing. Social distance, distancing. Quarantine is proper. You're not allowed to leave the house. No. We did self-isolate this week because Piper had a sniffle. But it turned out it was just a sniffle. She did cough a little bit too, but that was it. It disappeared. Thankfully, nothing to worry about. Okay, so this is spun sugar coming down from the top. And then I'm gonna go for some picked raspberry. What about you guys? Are you quarantined? What's this? <laughs> Sherry says, holy cow, I need to get the computer to scream <laughs> when Leslie's live. Push the bell. Push the bell. ding a -ling, ring the bell. I think restream doesn't always play nice with that though. Because I've heard people say that it's sometimes doesn't, it sometimes doesn't. Rude if you ask me. All right. Blendy, blendy, blendy. And I think I'm going to have a little smidgen of worn lipstick, maybe. It's pretty much the only lipstick that gets worn around here. Ranger. Shit. Come on. Up on, up. Hello. Come on. Up. Come on, buddy. Don't cute when you're in the way. There we go. Still my mic. Alright. Um Tana, Tina says some stores are still up. We actually haven't got we haven't attempted to go to the store since everything's gone that crazy, have we? Not really. No. We do that thing where you 
um, get like a box of food delivered to you. You pick the recipes and they deliver it to you. So it comes. And it's still coming. So that's nice. All right, so we've got a little bit of blendy blendy background. And I want to add some hearts to this. So let's line this up nicely. Oh, I saw your pup. Yeah, he is a cutie. Doesn't always want to be a craft dog but he nearly always wants to be close to mum, so he makes a sacrifice sometimes. <laughs> Am I right, Craigie? Yeah. Oh, close that door, it's cold. Right, are you okay? I'm good. You going inside now? Alright. Lovely. I'll keep an eye on you in the shoot. You'll keep an eye on me, will ya? That's nice of you. Our state, Roberta says, our state hasn't implemented anything. Thankful some places are being responsible and taking it serious. Yeah. I'm thankful for that too because, um, well, I think it probably could have been not as bad <laughs> if we had taken the measures sooner. But hey ho. At least crafting is an inside the house hobby. Okay, so we have got an inky background and a real subtle kind of tone on tone look with the hearts. So I've used the stencil. Mariska says we don't get deliveries anymore. Oh, because of the, the box of food thing. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that. I am. Um, I got a text message the other day that said, please check your email, important information about your upcoming delivery. And I, I thought to myself, oh no, here it is, it's starting. And then it said, just to let you know, instead of chicken breast, you're gonna have thick chicken thighs. Phew, still get food. All right, so I'm gonna stamp little hearts in the middle of these, but I don't wanna use ink. I'm gonna use oxides for that because they tend, oh, actually I'm not. I'm gonna use some, some good old cap and cooler inks because there is a light pink called, I wanna say baby girl or something like that. And I love me some Catherine Pooler eggs. It's a girl, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> Craig, yes Craig, we still craft to keep sanity. I know, right? Oops, that one wasn't very centered. So these are actually gonna be more obvious than the blended background. But I'm gonna try and be smart and help me line it up by using the stencil. Putting the stencil back on. I think it's easier to see then because it's a very subtle inked area. Uh, we have a stencil called Barbershop which is like thick diagonal lines. And one of my favorite ways to use it is actually as a guide to stamp sentiments, like repeated sentiments going across like this. It's really cool. You can take the idea of stamp roulette and play dinner roulette. <laughs> 
have some fun with the kids when cooking. Um, I'm pretty sure we're all going to be doing a little bit of dinner roulette before too long. <laughs> I think that some people have already been um, playing that game. Okay, I'm going to go for slightly lighter ones down below. Okay, we're 24 minutes and haven't even stamped a stamp yet, or I stamped a, an image yet. So. What you doing? What's wrong? Somebody said, I said it was blurry. Might just be what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Okay, so we have got a lovely pink background. We've got my hearts. It's just a bit hard to see. Yeah. No. Like a tone on tone, nom nom nom. Erica, I had fish dish planned, that didn't seem appealing, so I tried to make tortillas and turn them into tacos with roasted brass. <laughs> There's a mishmash. All right. What are we gonna do, Craggy? Should we have a snail or shall we have um, mice in a toadstool? I quite like that idea now that I think about it. Mice in a toadstool. Let's actually go ahead and pick another stamp set because I'm feeling like living life on the edge. <laughs> so give me another number, guys, between, what was it, 1 and 62? While I grab some alcohol marker-friendly cardstock. We could have the snail too, I suppose. The snails are like, hello, Mr. Mouse. That's what a snail looks like, or sounds like, you know. All right, Craigie, do the honors for me. Oh, you pick a number. Yep. Yeah. 37. Okay, now you have to count them out. Uh, two. <laughs> Don't be so lazy. In this, Thanks. start at the start here and go to 47. It's going to be like a little family of mice or something. Talking to Mr. Snail. Don't come out with a lion or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stamp these up using my... Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is my favorite ink here. What number? Um, I don't remember what you said. 37, was it, Donna? 37. Oh no, he's laughing. <sighs> Craig, it has to be 37. Okay. Don't pick, don't be like, all oh, 36 is really funny. Oh no. <laughs> Pass, pasta. It's got cheese. It's got cheese. It's got cheese. Yes. That's what we call like serendipitous. I could just put a piece of pasta on there. Did I tell you about the card that came up on like a Facebook ad or something that for Mother's Day? So tomorrow. Oh. 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 Tomorrow is the UK Mother's Day. If only you guys could see Craig's face right now. Go, go. Go, go. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so it came up, this advert that's, that was, a, it was actually a card and it was a box of pasta and it said, mothers like you are harder to find than pasta. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. All right. So this is, let me move my dice to the back. This is a stamp set that was just really fun to make and it's been way more popular than I thought it was gonna be, it's funny. So um, this is Pasta La Vista and um, we have lots of pasta here. We also have cheese and we also have these kind of like leaf kind of, leaf kind of shapes. Or if I wanted to, I could probably put a smiley face 
onto something, but I think I'm going to take the easy way out and have some chills. Where are we on? Half past, okay. So we're using the mice set, which is called Hello Squeak Heart. And um, we are using Pasta La Vista. and big bug hugs. Gives us some options. All right, so we're doing well. If I do say, my, say so myself. I'm probably not going to do lots and lots of shading or anything tonight given that um, we're on the edge of time. So I have used this one, I used the hearts. I can go back to if I want to add a sentiment. And I have used my Hello Squeak Heart. Might go back to it, who knows? And I've used my Big Bug Hugs. So let's put these to the side and color these in. So has anybody been getting crafty due to the frustrations of isolation or whatnot? Okay, let's start with some cheesy goodness. I feel like these mice have just stolen this cheese from the farmhouse. gonna have a good old time eating it. And at the moment their tails have actually been cut off at the carving knife. <laughs> nah, the um the set has got optional tails. So you can add tails if that's your jam. You can leave it off if you want to create the illusion of a, of a little hamster. my comments now let me just bring that down there here we go Cynthia is organizing things in the craft room that's a good way to spend your time and you're stuck at home Hazel says it took a few days of feeling trapped but I finally made three cards yesterday yeah I was a little bit like that yesterday at the start of the week because Piper's been home all week um, at the start of the week I was like oh I'm gonna have a schedule I'm gonna do like all this homeschooling kind of stuff and then by the time we got to Friday it was I just want to binge watch American Idol <laughs> that's what I want to do just leave me alone it felt awful but also it felt so good binge watching American Idol so what you gonna do <laughs> Roberta says, I'm going to love it for cutting out stamp images that I don't have dies for. Oh, you're talking about scan and cut for sure. You are going to love it. Okay. So. Erica says, I've been busy making cards for a conference that I hope will still be happening in July. Gotta stay positive. And these little guys are going to be too gray and too kind of brown, I think. So a little bit of warm gray action. Oh, 
all die. And um, then, so where's the color that I like? YR31, but with YR31, I really like, it's a real subtle brown color. It's more of like an orangey brown, I guess, but it, it creates a nice sort of pastel tone. And in fact, you can do the tip to tip technique. It works nicely. Oh, it's starting to bleed. Here we go. And I'll do this one too. So who all have you watched so far? I hope that you guys have been enjoying the ride. Has anybody won anything as yet? Let's do R00. Put in there, he needs a bit more on the outside of his ear. He's done a little bit bleedy on the outside, but we'll fix that with a gel pen. It'll be fine. I feel like I'm probably gonna need to do another couple of toadstools just to help with creating the scene. And I feel like the toadstools might be more on the pinky side rather than on the red side. Oh, wow, someone says they've watched them all. Woo. Candy won a card from Tiffany, nice. Somebody saying Laurel. No winnings yet for Cynthia. And Amy says, I can't craft and watch and chat at the same time. I know, right? Struggle is real. All right, so let's go for, so there's a pink, which is called like prawn or something, light prawn. And I go for a light prawn here. What kind of sentiment are we going to use for this card? I feel like it's a little bit, um, a little bit random, a little bit of mishmash going on. But that's kind of the joy of uh, stamp roulette. <clears throat> I think the most popular stamp roulette was one where we had a lorry, a fox, um, and maybe was it a speech bubble or something like that, or a house? So we ended up doing like a window and a fox, like you look out the window and there's a lorry going on the road and the fox is out looking in the window. We called it the photobombing fox. <laughs> it's really funny, we laughed so much that time. Such fun was had by all. All right, so I'm gonna darken that up a teensy bit. bit. I'm looking for an R05, there we go. Just to do this underneath bit, which is a bit more shaded. I'm conscious of time, so please forgive me if it's not beautifully blended. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, hi. All right, we're doing, we're doing well. So for our mushroom, I feel like we need to go for maybe some more of those warm grays. There's also um, one in here called putty. Is this it? Yeah. Which is kind of like a greeny brown or a khaki kind of brown. Oh, let's try that one. Nice. Okay, we're living it up with this. Kind of bringing in some of those forest undertones. 
There are so many foxes in England, says Penny. Funny to see them just wandering around in gardens. Yeah, there's loads of foxes near here, actually. Where if we drive anywhere at night, normally we will see one. Amy says I moved over to YouTube. Good for you, because that's where you're gonna find the comments down here, and not the comments, the description. And that's where you need to click to go and see the next person on the list. Mm-hmm. Something orangey on the bottom there. What am I missing? I'm not sure. All right, so somebody says, what kind of markers are you using? Um, I use a selection of um, alcohol markers. I have lots of different types up here in these sort of duck egg blue tubs. And um, these are my Copic Chows. That's what I'm using just for convenience because this tub holds the most of, um, like the most color collections. That's, I've kind of got that at the moment. That's, um, it's, it's easier. for the love of speed. And I think I'm gonna go for a teal colored shell because I don't know many snails, but if I were gonna be a snail, I would have a teal shell for sure. If you were gonna be a snail, what color shell would you have? Hmm. Art art artistically creative says, I stuck it out for the 24 hours in a row last year. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's not working. I'm gonna get a replacement on that one. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab a different color, my pistachio on my classics. Uh, Marianne says aqua. I'm with you. Purple says yells, yells. Hey, yells, yells. Nice to see ya. All right, so I'm gonna pop you back in there, even though that is clearly not where you belong. Oh, a black shell says Ashley. Love it. So this needs a little bit of rosy cheeks, just like I've got. And I think I'll just give all of these little mice some rosy cheeks as well. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna cut these guys out because we're at 22. We need to assemble the card as well. Now, to run things through the die cutting machine, I always use the Heffy Memo Tape. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, then you gotta be. Gotta be. This is a low tack memo tape, and I use it for so many things. One of the best things, of course, is running your dies through the die cutting machine because it's low tack, it's not going to sometimes with washi tape and purple tape and things when you put it through the die cutting machine, the, the mangle, it smooshes it and it kind of reactivates all the adhesive and it's kind of too sticky. So then what happens is that it sticks too much to your card and when you try to remove it, it pulls the top layer of your um, card away and it's particularly troublesome if you have a like wet area or if you've been um, coloring on an area. And nobody, oh, that's a bit close. Nobody wants to spend time coloring something and then get it ruined in the die cutting machine. I'm sure I speak for everybody. Hey, Sindhu, how are you? Roberta says, I just got some of your memo tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have some. Um, so you can order from us. Uh, Eric is here. That reminds me that over at Catherine Pooler, they have memo tape. So if you're getting your next Catherine Pooler order, grab a memo tape or come on over to Heffy Doodle. 
we ship internationally. All right, so we've got these guys. I need cheese. What's your favorite cheese? I'm partial to a little bit camembert. Nom. All right, so one thing I didn't mention about this guy, this cheese, which the dye reminds me of, is there's actually an internal cut line. So when I'm designing the dies, I like to um, include things like internal cut lines. So this one has a little slit at the bottom section, can you see here, of this circle. So you would never know just to look at it like this, but you can stick a little mouthy in there. Super cute. That's not even you. Wensleydale with cranberries. Mm -mm. We always pick up some Wensleydale at Christmas. Um, in the local grocery store here, they always have a Wednesday with cranberries and a Wednesday with apricots. We just get both because, you know, it's Christmas. Why not? Camembert and braid. Mm -hmm. You guys are making me hungry, <laughs> says Cynthia. Well, you are at the Hungry Heffy YouTube channel. <laughs> So, guilty. All right. And these little guys have got internal cut lines on their paws as well. Most of them do anyway. So you can tuck elements in there. How are we doing for time? Quarter two. Aldi sell them all year round and there's about five to some at Wednesday deals. Mm, mm, mm. Pear Blossom Press says, if you guys are shopping on the Heffy site, get yourself some of Leslie's double thick foam tape. Oh yeah, the release paper actually releases and it's fantastic. Thank you, Amanda. It is fantastic. It's massive. I will tell you that it's like 12 inches wide. And um, so it's like, a party coming in your in your mailbox because it's so big and it lasts you a long time and I love it the thing is it's very sticky so it gunks up your scissors but having made many a project and many a shaker card I have um, gone a complete 180 I used to hate my foam tape because it was so sticky it would gunk up my scissors but now I love my foam tape because it's so sticky it is not going to fall apart. And I've had many um, shaker cards, even over the case of a weekend. Um, you know, it works on a Friday and then on a Monday I go to take a photo and it's like, falls apart. Just, just unacceptable. Kathy says, I'm gonna have to watch Wallace and Gromit show tonight. Is that because of my accent? <laughs> I'm cute. All right, so we have got a little bit of a cheese party happening here and where's this guy he might be in the cheese or he might be pop poking out of the cheese because that's fun and we need to have some grass because we've got some got some of these going on This guy's just like stumbled along like, hey, what's going on here? There's a mouse party happening. I love it. Okay, let's get some. I love it a lot. We need to add a little bit of grass. So let's get some ink blendy blendy. And I think I'm actually going to go for crack the pistachio. And I don't know where my cracked pistachio blending foam is. So I will 
grab a new one. Actually, I'll use one of the scrapbook.com domed blending little dudes. I've not used these a lot, lot, but what I have used, I love. WD-40 works great for um, removing stick from scissors. Absolutely does. All right. Let's see. Oh, somebody's saying something about tattered lace. So this, are you talking about this machine? This machine is the baby blue machine. And it is by tattered lace, yes. It is no longer in, manufa in um, being manufactured. Sadly, because I love it. I am actually looking to source a um, machine, maybe for Happy Doodle. Um, because I love having a desktop machine here. I love it so much. So I'm looking at trying to source something, which would be really fun. All right, so let's get this back together again. We'll build our little scene, little garden party. guy's having lots of fun. This guy's jumping up here. Is that all of my mice? I think so. Okay, let's stick these guys down. And let me see if I can get a sentiment that would be fun. These are all pasta -y rather than cheesy. You're such a good a friend. That's just made for this. <laughs> what difference does the dome make compared to the flat blender? Um, asks Lona. Um, so with the flat blender, especially if you have a new ink pad and you tap on it, sometimes when you first make the first dab, you can get a lot of ink around the edges. So you can get almost like this halo effect on, the, on your card. That happens a lot, especially if you're not used to blending and if, um, if you're kind of new to it and you go straight onto the card, then it, yeah, it takes a little bit of control, I think, and a little bit of experience, but I tend to start on a craft mat so that I steer away from that ki those kind of um, impressions. But with the dome, you don't get that at all. So that's really cool. No edge marks. Yeah, exactly. You had one of the mice standing on the other cheese wedge. Yeah, I thought that I did. Let's see. I think maybe I had this moved over a bit. And then he was up there. We'll do that. So what I'm doing is I want to stick down the toadstools first of all because they are the furthest away and then I'm going to use some foam to stick up these other elements. Now this little dude however I'm going to just pop a little bit of wet glue in here. That new brush is out, clicks into its own holder. I don't know which one that is. What is that brush? Oh, is that the one from... Um, Pink and Main, is that the one you mean? From Pink and Main? It is very cool. The Pink and Main one. Craig says seven minute warning. Thank you, Craig. All right. We'll fly through this. Don't worry. All right. 
and this guy's gonna go here and this guy's gonna go there so I'm gonna put a little bit of wet glue on his belly and I do have in my I've got a little stash here of adhesive stuff in here I have got teeny weeny squares oh maybe I don't Nope, apparently I don't. I'm just gonna have to cut one down, but that's fine. Must have used them all. And put this on his head because his belly will be resting on the top of the cheese. But his head will be raised up from there. Nice, okay, let's get this cheese raised up as well. The Dome Blender's got the, the Tim Holtz handles. Yeah. I guess if that's what you want to call them, the Tim Holtz style blender. But I have other ones that aren't Tim Holtz, aren't Ranger, and aren't Scrapper.com, and they have the same kind of handle, so. Let's put this here. Bear with me, sometimes my camera decides to go to sleep. Right, this guy's gonna be here. Of course, I've just realized that I haven't drawn tails on these guys, so I'll have to do that later. This guy's absolutely having the time of his life. But if you were a mouse and you just found two massive chunks of cheese, you probably would be too. Oh, Candy has literally just said, don't forget to add the tails. Thanks, Candy. Keeping me right. All right, so we only have a few minutes left and um, I'll add a sentiment on here, but before I let you all go, um, I wanna do that giveaway. So hopefully Craig's watching and can help me. I would like you all to, oh good, Craig's here. Craig, we gotta do our giveaway. Cool. Okay. Um, so this is for a selection of heavy little stuff um, that I will give away to, to one commenter who is here on my lab. And um, I will just randomly pick stuff from Heavy Doodle and send it to you. Um, and what I want you to do is type in the comments a number between one and 100. And uh, Craig, before you look at anything, Take this piece of paper and write down a number between one and a hundred, please. All right, so please only write a number once. Don't decide that you're gonna have six or seven guesses. Sneaky, sneaky. So write that down, we'll give it a few minutes. And then we'll see if, uh, see who is closest. Everybody's gonna guess 99 because you're on 100 because you, you got like the last one. <laughs> All right. And after this, um, please head over to the next stop on the hippity hop which is Corin Whiskerman. <laughs> Craig, hear my mind. <laughs> All right, still some numbers coming in, so I'll have to just take a minute. So if you are the winner, what you need to do is go to um, heffydoodle.com and go to the contact us or get in touch section and send us over your address. All right. So everyone's saying the card turned out cute. It's not quite finished, but all things considered, I think I did a pretty good job. Craig, what do you think? Fabulous. Fabulous, yes. My tea is a bit cold though, Ugh. sad for me. <laughs> all right, okay. So do you regress if someone has a number? Yeah, you can um, suggest another number if someone has your number, I guess. Oh no, it might get complicated then. Maybe it's just too late. <laughs> All right, Craig, put your number down here 
and usually everyone is really helpful about helping us find out who the winner was. Yeah. Okay. Oh, da, 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 62. Okay, scroll up and see so if we can find a 62. So was, was there a 62? 65. 62, Nana. So Nana, I need to Nana. Go Nana. Nana. See if there was a quicker one. See if there was another one. Oh, candies. Oh, candies. Well, right. okay. Should have gone to the top first. That's okay. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll just put those um, names in a hat and we'll pick a winner out of the two of them. So we've got one minute. So I think that's all. We'll have Nana and Candy. 63, close but no cigars. Nice, Andre. Close but no cigars, right? Okay, I think that's it. Da, 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 da. Quickly, Craig, because everyone has to go over and see Corin soon. Boom. And the winner is, put it underneath. Nana! What? Yay! Craig is like, what is this? Is it, what is this thing? Is Nana, congratulations. Um, you will get a selection of Heavy Doodle goodies. Um, please go over to heavydoodle.com, go to the contact us and send me your um, address and I shall send things on your way. If there's things that you already have from Heavy Doodle, feel free to mention it and I will avoid those elements or um, whatever. All right. Thank you so much. I've had so much fun and I hope that you have had fun too. Subscribe. Please subscribe, hit the like button and ring head on, bell. ring the bell to be... <laughs> like, what do they subscribe, do? ring the bell. Yeah, right, all the Craig, things. all the things. Um, and go on over to Corin and see what she's got in store for you. Come on in, Craig. <laughs> What, if you go into the comments? Just there, like, just one arm. <laughs> go into the comments, uh, in the description, I mean, and um, there'll be a link to go and see Corin. Okay, it's really comfortable. Yeah, it's youtube.com slash Corin Whiskerman. There go. Just like that. Go, go, Can go. Can you add it to the comments? I should copy paste it. Just oh, now. yeah, that's a good plan. That's what I thought. Oh, you're so good. Right, we'll see you next time, and um, I hope that you will come and craft with me again. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to comment, even if you're watching on playback. Oh, does that work? Nice. Yes. yes. There she is. Okay. Bye, guys.